Start my breakfast, got my porridge again, and I'm really liking this coffee cup. This uh, filled one, for sure, really good. So I'm gonna go and have a dive, I think, once I have my breakfast and got my, my head together. It's a late night editing video. Um, and dive would be good. And then I get to dive, surf, and fish today, all in one, because I'm proper superhero action man kind of figure. <laughs> gear drying waiting for the surf to pick up and uh, waiting for lunch to cook Has, mate, yeah. it has. Thanks so much for the invite. Yeah, and it's been great to see you again. Yeah, ten mate. years ago we were fishing in Plymouth. Yeah, and that was mental, and this was even more mental. Yeah. So, from Mega Kayaks, yeah, Richie the Ridge Monkey, <laughs> and me, <laughs> said and done. Well, I've got a full string of mackerel, and that's the string that's going to go into the bin. It's had it right. Live bait for those of you watching in black and white, this fish is in Technicolor. This is fun. Still cold though. Right, beautiful, beautiful girl. Got to give you your traditional sharky kiss for luck, haven't I? Mwah! You are one beautiful girl. Now you go back there. Fuck off! <laughs> Straight on me fucking butt. Thank you, buddy. It's been absolutely fantastic seeing you again and fishing with you again. Really appreciate you taking me out and getting me what I was after. No worries. My first English taupe. Brilliant. Super Cracking fish. day. Super fish. Oh, wasn't it just? I ask you, can any one day be this good? Morning has broken like the first morning. Everybody, it's day nine, which means new pants. I've gone for the big fat red ones. Um, so I'll keep all my, all my tack on nice and secure. Pasty time. This has just come out of the oven so it's piping hot. Hopefully it's going to be absolutely cracking. Well it is really good. It is really, really good. Pastry's lovely. The meat's good. Filling's good. Um, lost a load of time waiting around for a dive shop that didn't have any stuff here. So I didn't get my tank fill. I diverted and then that sent me on a new route. That added on loads of time extra. Oh, I left this morning, I had like less than five hours to go from where I was in Cornwall to where I was going in Wales. And until not long ago, that was still whatever I did, give me around about five hours to get there. So I literally crawled along the M5. Um, there's no reason for it, there's no roadworks. There's no breakdowns, there's no accidents. I haven't seen any reason for this. Following the sand nav, it's not giving me any alternatives. It's just saying, ah, congestion. I, I've got a window, mate. I can see there's fucking congestion. There we go. Welcome to Wales. Woohoo, we made it. Well, I've arrived at Dan's. Look at this, Dan Capel. How am I supposed to get in here and get out again? Well, Dan straight away stuck the cider in my hand, as he did with Mike, and... It's Mike's cider, though. 
I, I briefed yeah. him well. Because <laughs> we we like my shirt, which I've had on for That's nine days lovely. now. We're going to Nepal. And, and that so is what's, a what's this one? Load of surprise. That's the goat. That's goat. Yeah. I think it's birds. Oh, that's good. It's, it's either birds or Barry or Billy, but I think yeah. we finished birds. We're of a birds. treat, Mike. Yeah. Mike's like bug of the triumph. So I'm, I'm I'm just going full time kayaks now. So, so this is the the second source that then goes into that. Oh, look so at that. that's Damn got um, tomatoes and onions and chilies and various other bits and bobs, and then that gets yeah. into that at the end. Wow. Um, so you're done with all this now, sir? Yes, thank you. If I had a cap, I'd doff it for you. I think you should. I still can't believe that you didn't slaughter a lamb for the arrival of the god, but there you go. He's one of our goats we will be eating. Yeah. Meanwhile, Mike has been behaving well. Mike is under here. Mike, what have you been up to today? What have you been up to this evening? Oh, mainly trying to fix a car. So Mike barely managed to get here. Barely managed to get here. Just managed to get here and now had to fix it again. Oh, now this is Dharma. 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 Dharma has just come over and humped my leg. Thank you, Kate. That's absolutely <laughs> marvellous. Welcome. That is really stunning. Okay. Thank you for our welcome. Yeah. Mike as well, who who's only just met other kayak fishermen and has realised that. <laughs> Despite me being a god, I'm nothing special. <laughs> what sort of coffee? What sort of coffee? Fucking brown coffee, isn't it? What instant coffee? Coffee. Well, like where you put a spoon in in a cup and stir it. Yeah. Do I look like a pikey? Coffee comes brown or white in a mug or a cup. Do, do, do I look do I look poor? Do I look like a tramp? Just I live in a van. I'm I'm quite refined, you know. Dan's honey from Dan's bees. Proper honey from his hive now. While nobody's around. Look at that, it's proper, proper with the comb and everything. Look at that, combing. Let's have, let's have a spoon of this. Look at that, proper Welsh honey. Dan's Welsh honey. That's sublime. Yeah, go on, go on, try go on, go on, go on. Mm. <laughs> Do you reckon we can pinch that without Dan seeing or noticing? He's, he's seen us now. <laughs> oh shit. It seems like the three of us are all nursing bad ankles. Not yeah. bad heads actually, not bad hangovers. There's Mike, he is, Dan is. My tendonitis came back. That had gone for the last few days with the surfing and the diving and all that. We've we've reached civilization. We're in Aberystwyth. It's taken us forever and a half. Um, Man, there's there's a Morrison's, there's a McDonald's, there's a B and M, there's a Halfords, there's a Curry's. You've been shopping, haven't you? Been shopping. That's shopping. Spending you bought, all my money. You bought a bag, bag of goodies. Oh god, lovely ten reel there. We're outside Abba fishing and tackle. Brilliant. Look at that. Oh no, that's bigger than twenty. What a beauty. Keep your teeth away. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at it, beautiful, another taupe. Beautiful, isn't she? Mwah. Love you, baby. I'm the man! I'm the superman in my red pants! Thatcher's gold cider. And Tanny Castle Bakery Welsh Kicks. Welsh cake for you. Nice. Well, we had over 20 tote between us. Yeah. Marvellous. Full hus, mackerel. Some of them we managed to get in the boat. Yeah, I want to say. <laughs> some, some of us didn't. <laughs> yeah. some. Down along here are the anti-aircraft gunnery ranges. Practice at Tonfano Practice Camp. Down here, the holdfasts for one of the gun positions. So these were 3.7 inch Vickers anti-aircraft guns. Look at that. So that's what they would uh, drop the guns down onto and secure them with. And to think that my grandfather was here in 1943 with 254 battery 81st heavy anti-aircraft regiment. 
while they were stationed at Orkney and before they went off to North Africa. It's Sunday morning, day 11. Who wouldn't want to wake up like that? Just realised it's not just my ankle, it's my whole foot. So look at the difference between the scrawniness. Look especially round by the toes. Where's your foot? It's a nice, simple Sunday morning breakfast. Finishing off the Welsh cakes with a bit of instant Azira coffee and some ibuprofen. Help the swelling go down. Probably really silly to stop right there. It's quite an incline. But look at this. I'm now in Lanidrod Wells, where my grandfather did his officer training in 1941 at 124 Officer Cadet Training Unit, known as Octu. Well, Sunday is for beef, so it's corned beef hash day. The thing is, right, I'm probably not the first member of this family to sit in a field, well, almost definitely not a member of this family, to sit in a field in Lanidrod Wells, however you pronounce that, making corn beef. So bully beef, right? Corn beef out wins wars. That lasts you six years. You can you can fight. The average the average soldier can fight for six years on a bit of bully beef. Unlike spam eaters who can only manage about three. On the eighteenth of October nineteen forty Axing Bombardier Abs, Lance Bombardier Abbott, Lance Sergeant Crane, Lance Bombardier Shepherd, and Gunner Walker JLA posted to 124 Octu, Flendindod Wells. So there you have it, there's the history, that's why I'm here. At the request of my father, I've stopped at Bury You in Montgomeryshire. Reason being, that white house you can see, that white cottage by the Lich Gate, is where Aunt Beatty lived. Well, hello, Rob. It's been seven years, I believe. Oh, yeah, you have to video everything? I have to video everything. All my fans. <laughs> Besides, I haven't seen you for so long. Good to see uh, you. You all right, buddy? Yeah. It's going to teach me to make oat cakes, oat aren't cakes, you? Yeah. Oat cakes, He said it all up outside. Look at that. Yeah. That's a bit thick. But it's just come out of the pan and it's hot. So I'm going to try it hot and freshly done just to see how... Amazingly good it is. That feels like the texture of a, a French crepe at the moment. So let's have a have a little taste of this. The cheese is supposed to be melted. Mmm. Oh, it's nice cheese. Mmm. That's a nice flavour on this. Spitfire Memorial to Sergeant Alan Ridings over Fairhaven Lake in Lytham St Anne's. A town where my grandfather was posted to on an anti-aircraft gun site. These remains here of St Patrick's Chapel, which is what was actually mentioned in the war diary for 81st Heavy Anti-Aircraft Regiment. So 254 battery were here somewhere, but where? I don't know. I'm... 7 o'clock and I've decided to stop for the night. And I'm going to treat myself to a nice chilli, sort of a chilli taco mix. I reckon that's looking good. So, why were you late for work? Cows in the road. It's going to give way or not? And I'm right here. That's the M65 you can hear to the side of me. Now, if we look on this aerial photograph, these are the four gun pits. This is it. There's nothing left of D site Accrington, later called Blackburn H6 and Lancaster H6. There was a battery of four 3.7 inch anti aircraft guns here, which 254 battery were manning to protect the skies around Blackburn. This is a definite location for my grandfather's war. 27th of July saw the regiment transferred to 70th Anti-Aircraft Brigade and static 3.7s in place at Accrington D, subsequently renamed Blackburn H6. 
their mobile 3.7s dispatched to Donington on the 15th of August. Enough of these wartime gun sight shenanigans, Mr. Crane. I've got the electric lunchbox out. Another order from Allison to buy. Old bossy boots. Taking off the ventilation cap, pressing the button to switch it on. But why, Mr. Crane? Why have you got it out? Well, I bought myself in Oswald Twistle Mills a beautiful steak and ale pie. Look, it's a, it's a happy pie as well. So I've just switched off. This has been plugged into the lighter socket and heating through all the way from Lancashire, about 120 miles or so. It's my nice Lancashire steak and ale pie. Let's have a taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. Heated right through. Mm, it tastes good. Lovely pastry. Reaching in. Story of 609 Squadron under the White Rose. Frank Ziegler. This is what led to me being here. Reading this, becoming friends with the guys. Pinky, I drank my first gin and tonic with. Finished my visit with uh, the 609. It's riding squadron memorial room. These two here are of particular interest to me. On the left is Joe Atkinson. Absolutely charming man, lovely fella, quintessential English gentleman. And this is Johnny Wells from Sheringham. The memorial boards with the roll of honour of those pilots killed, the 609 Squadron, those who became prisoner of war, those who commanded, and those who were killed or missing after the leaving 609 flanked by the flags of the Royal Air Force and the Belgian Air Force. Johnny Wiseman on the left, with Babe Haddon on the right. These two pilots were killed on 14th February 1943. Shot down by Oberstleutnant Egon Meyer of 3JG2. Johnny was a Norfolk boy from Martham and in 2003, 14th of July 2003, I erected a memorial in the memory of these two pilots. A photo of the lovely Tom Anir from New Zealand, who I used to speak with. And here in Paris, wandering around, hand in his pocket, in occupied Paris amongst the Germans, is my friend, Flight Lieutenant Jimmy Stewart. A lovely man. He went on the run, but ended up betrayed and imprisoned in Buchenwald's concentration camp. That's it from the Yorkshire Air Museum at Elvington. So it's goodbye to the 609 Squadron Memorial Spitfire and 609 Squadron Memorial Room. And I have another copy, number three, of Under the White Rose. Well, I've just pulled up outside Eden Camp, which used to be a prisoner of war camp during the war. I last came here in 1994. So. What's that, 25 years ago? I have a 25 year old photograph at home of me standing in this guard box holding that wooden rifle. So this is a 3.7 inch anti-aircraft gun as used by my grandfather all around the country in these gun sites that we're talking about. So this is on a mobile platform. You could obviously put down the legs to brace it for firing. Quite a big thing. I'd actually like one of these. There was some up for sale the other month. They didn't go for as much money as you'd have thought, but imagine having four of these to set up in a battery. Well, for the first time in nearly 40 years, I'm at the National Railway Museum in York. I first came here when I was in the Cubs. There's something in homage to my great-grandfather. He too was an old contemptible, having fought at the very start of the First World War. Very poignant visit this. It's an ambulance train from the First World War. My great-grandfather would have travelled back from France in one of these. To the SS Carisbrook Castle, which sailed back to England and took him to hospital in Exeter.
This is Duchess of Hamilton, Coronation Class, London Midland, Scotland locomotive from 1938. Never had one of these, but when in Yorkshire, do as the Yorkshiremen do. The uh, Yorkshire pudding or a Yorkshire curd tart. I'm going to make these. I'm going to make these in the Ninja. It's really good. Years ago I stayed on this campsite in Gothland. 1994 it was. I'm not paying to stay anywhere today. I reckon this view will do me for tonight. I'm just outside Gothland on the North York Moors. There's no excuse to have bad food when you're camping unless you choose to do so. So tonight it's tacos. Look at that. So I've got the minced beef and the spices, crumbled feta because that's closest to the Mexican cheese that we had there. There's the lettuce, there's the salsa, and my own sweet pepper relish. So guys and gals, if you'll forgive me, I'm going to love you and leave you.